Hello everyone and welcome to episode two of A Collage Journey. If you miss episode one, it's in the description box below where you can click on it and watch it. We're starting with this collage right here, which I really do like because it's got flowers all over it and it's got these negatives that I punched out, circles of and I put some fussy cut pictures of ladies in some of the circles and I think that they look really good. So I like this one pretty well and perhaps you like to see this one. This one I actually enjoyed collecting all the food containers that I made this into. I enjoyed collecting all the food containers. I enjoyed cutting them out. Uh, you know, cutting out the labels from them. I enjoyed trying to make them look vintage and antiqued. I enjoyed gluing them down, but I'm not really excited about the result. It just, I don't know, it doesn't quite do it for me. So we'll move on to the next one. So here's another one that is kind of, well, I think it's a little bit bland. Here's another one that has lots of butterflies. And as you know, I really like flowers and butterflies. And so there's quite a few of those in here. Also some more of those negatives that I had punched out circles of and put designs on the insides of. You could see here. So this one I like okay. And here's one that I'm not super excited about, but I do like it because it's got this lollipop wrapper. It's got candy wrappers. It's got lozenger wrappers, paper from the tea bag string. Here's another one that had hot chocolate. Here's one. This stuff is wild. Came from, came from yogurt. This one's kind of fun because it's got the food wrappers on here that make it, it made it fun to make. Here's another one that I like because it's got a lot of green in it, a lot of green, and it's got these fairies, and I like the fairies. It's got some paper ruffles that I had made and put on there, and I like the paper ruffles. So this one I like pretty well. Let's see, we've got Ooh, this one I really do like. This one's got a lot of antique things in there. It's got a real antique kind of feel to it with the colors. It's got gold and brown. We've got an old phonograph, an old shoe, an old phone, an old camera, a bunch of really just old antique-y looking stuff that I think looks really good. These Converse, I actually have a pair of these that I've had for about 25 years and I still wear. So some things are antique and some things are antique and are still used. So go figure. So I like this one pretty well. And here's one that I like pretty well. I used stamps on this one. There's a stamp of a, a leaf. It's got keyholes and doors and one of the things I like about this one is that see all these pieces of stamped images like post office stamped these are all pieces of an old bed sheet that I tea dyed and stamped on and then the ones with the words on it touch hearts value truth jettison anger count your blessings these ones I I did a rub on stamps with those. So I think this one's a little bit muted. The tan colors, you know, keep it kind of low key, but I think I like it pretty well. Here's one that has a lot of different images on there that I used. I used a magazine, a Better Homes and Gardens magazine from the 50s for a lot of the background. A lot of this background comes from, well, maybe not this, this is Russian. A lot of this comes from that Better Homes and Gardens magazine. And then these circles are circles that I punched out 
I had put strips of washi tape down on a piece of paper and then I just punched them out into the circles. And then we've got lots of food, we've got raspberry preserves, we've got coffee, we've got sugar, more sugar. Oh, and this is a, a needle threader that got broken that I think looks pretty cool on here. So we've got, oh, and gum, we've got that. So this, this one's kind of fun. Here's one that I like pretty well because it's got lots of flower paper in the background. It's got a lot of pretty ladies, the washi tape stickered ladies all over the place, and a few photographs from books that I cut out, fussy cut out, and put them in this, as well as words and places and phrases, and I like this one quite a bit. So what we have here is, I'm going to show you this. This is one that I made that is kind of basic. I just layered different pages and then I put these puffy stickers of instruments on here, which I like this pretty well, but the stickers doesn't don't want to stick very well. So that makes me kind of sad when they're coming up, but I like it pretty well anyway. And so then I wanted to show you these loose ones that I have that fell out. This is kind of like bonus footage because I already showed you 10 different collages from my collage book. And I'm going to start my next episode at the next 10. Okay, I'll show you one more. I like this one. I like this one a lot. It's got a lot of neutral tones to it and a lot of yellow and it's an aviation theme. Everything on here talks about, all these little labels talk about aviation and flying and planes. And I've got pictures of planes. And then I've got this steampunk lady on here and her hand and just various random strips that I think look really cool, I think, in this one. So, and then let me show you a few loose ones that had fallen out and I'll show these to you one by one. This one's pretty neat. It's I like the way that I didn't put the images on in a square way. I just laid them all on in, an, in a haphazard fashion. And that's what we turned out with is this one. So this is this. And then we've got this one that I like pretty well. It's got a piece of ruffle paper in the middle of it that I don't know, but I really like this. And I like the purple and the green, and I like the images of the people on here. And I like the different shapes. This one really, I think, a little different than the others because I did different shapes of things. And I like the way that this one turned out. And then there's this one that I really like. This one may be one of my favorites. I like this one. It's just very random, but it's got so much going on. It says you're beautiful here. There's a flower here. It's very incongruous in the sense that we've got cassette tapes. We've got flowers. We've got butterflies. We've got kitty cats that keep getting in the way. Yes, we do. We've got ladies, we've got a dollar sign, haagen -Dazs from ice cream, lace, pieces of lace, all kinds of stuff in this. I really like this. Next episode will be episode three, and I hope that you will join me for it for the rest of the journey. And thank you for watching. And if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment. I really enjoy it when people leave a comment. So thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.